Hello there, Denny here from Epcot. It is the International Flower and Garden Festival here at my favorite Disney park. And I'm so excited to be here today and be joined by one of my dearest friends, Erica Resnick from Healthy Dose of Disney. Erica, yes. I'm so glad that you are here today. Oh, I am so happy for the Festival of Flowers. Mm -hmm. It's my yes. favorite one. It is so the festival. <laughs> Please, if you've not watched our Festival of the Arts overview, please go back and watch it. I mean, not right now. We'll keep watching yeah, this yeah. and then go back. But this is indeed the Festival of Flowers. Yes. Like, it can be nothing more than the Festival of Flowers. And we're so excited to be here and be a part of it and to get to explore everything. But something from the word go, something from the jump is off. Erica, can you explain so. the what is happening <laughs> so we we are the people who grab the festival passports immediately when we walk into the park and uh we got here guess what no festival passports are out here there's a bunch of guide maps no passports None. apparently here at the front entrance they have run out of passports nothing to worry about because at some of the merchandise locations they have the passports and all at the food locations throughout the festival have the passports right now but it's a little weird being up here it's, with no passport in hand. I'm not sure what to do or how to feel right now. <laughs> Thankfully, I came prepared with a notes page of all the food I want to try. But still, I, I need the passport. I did not. <laughs> I am unprepared right now. So I have one treat, two treats actually, in, on my mind right now. But that's okay. We're going to be okay. We are fine. adults, and we have been greeted by Asha from Disney's Wish here in the main flower bed, and she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's she just looks gorgeous. Beautiful. beautiful. Yay. And Erica, you pointed out that she's covered in succulents her yes. entire uh, skirt. Yes. It's, they're, I don't know if they're the same exact ones that are on Figment, but they look similar because they're that purple color. Um, and I like that they've been doing that the past few years, adding succulents to it, because you know that, that we need to celebrate those too. Absolutely. And she's just gorgeous. She's beautiful. And I really enjoyed the movie. I want Star for my very own. A little Star <laughs> to follow me. Anyhow, we have uh, topiaries to see, yes. new topiaries this year. Check. We've got Asha already. We've got food to eat. Yes. And we've got general flowers and gardens. Yeah. You ready? We got a passport to find. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Please give us a festival passport. We don't know what to do without it. Off we go. Thanks for tuning in. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the festival is. She's always gorgeous. It's World Celebration Garden's first flower and garden festival. So we've got the impatient trees up here. And we've got figment and giant pink poppies in the middle of the garden. So we'll go take a peek at that. But pretty cool how you've got impatient trees lining this whole perimeter. That's really neat. Here's figment made out of succulents, just as cute as he can be, here in the middle of world celebration so cute so the, the question has just come up as to whether or not we have a munchling a smelly munchling yes for the festival so we have to we just saw figment as cute as he is and <laughs> we gotta go we, got, <laughs> we have our priorities straight yes. and we gotta see if there is a smelly munchling because they had one last year Mm -hmm. if i remember correctly and i think it was orange bird it was orange bird with um, a little honey yes he had like his little honey so i wonder if this year we have one because we had one for festival of the arts yep the only festival that didn't have one last year was food and wine okay let's hope oh my goodness for all you orange bird fans look at him look at him he grows in the little so flower pot it's adorable. I like him like that. There you go, where he's just kind of popping yeah. out like, hi oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of a park day. Yes. Whack. 
You let out your frustration. Exactly. Set yourself free, friends. For Festival of the Arts, it was make every day a work of art, right? Yes. And so now we're setting ourselves free. I think that's cute. That's cute. And then the we ears. have Orange Bird. I love the Orange Bird. Rain Spooner. Oh my goodness. Cute. They are. They're adorable. Yeah, and they are, of it's course. It's like an orange peel texture. Yeah. Sorry. Of course, Fun. they are lounge fly. Oh, of course. So, and the price is not on here. We love. We love. They're oh, free. Love. Yep. This is so sweet. I know she's very Oh, I like. Uh huh. Me too. The cork sickle and it's, it's textured. textured. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I love that. Oh, I love. That's cute. That's fun. Fun and bright. Yeah. And then you can juice your oranges and have fresh orange juice in an orange bird mug, and it's branded. How so that's cute great. is that? is really cute. I do love fresh squeezed orange juice. I don't know that I'm doing it at home though. <laughs> don't know. That Every I'm... day you wake up exactly. and start your day. Where's the oranges? Cute little planter. Oh, an apron. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Aren't you glad you met me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's adorable. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Oh, Orange bird turvis, yes please. The original Florida Orange bird. I really like that they've included Florida this yeah. year because that is that was the original branding. Is that he was promoting the Florida Citrus Council? So I'm really I glad love that. that citrus yeah. growers. Yay! I love that hat. That hat and a T-shirt, like. Erica, you know what I'm not seeing? I'm not seeing a munchling. I'm not seeing a munchling either. You know what? That's sad. I am feeling such sadness right now. Yeah. Friend, where's your munchling? <laughs> Where, where's your munchling? <laughs> Please. Please tell us. The sadness, Erica, the sadness. I could cry. <laughs> I could cry too. There's no festival munchling as of right now that we know of, so. I'll survive, I think. Yes, I think we both will. But we did talk to the cast members, and they, they don't even know. So yeah, we'll hold out hope that something arrives eventually. One I'm going to give you a look one day. I'm going to give you a look at Communicore Hall real quick and the progress on it. Um, it's actually looking like a something now, uh -huh. like an actual building. And then we got to get eaten. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, there's your... Communicore Hall update here. So again, this is going to be your festival center. And I think a performance area, also characters yes. will be in there. So it's looking like an actual thing. So that's great to see it come together. We've already got little flowers going on here. What is this? Oh, the Northern Cardinal. Who's a pretty bird? Birds like the purple martin aren't just fun to look at. Their colorful feathers help recognize, help them camouflage and recognize yes. each other in the wild. Cool. This is Songbird Meadow, so a garden just for songbirds. And it is kind of cool because it's right across from the purple martin houses. Oh, look at them! Here. They're like standing outside your little things. They are. They say good morning, friends. Purple Martin's always fun to kind of check out. And it is neat that they're kind of hanging outside. It's because of the garden. They've got their own garden and they I know. know it. They have their own songbird meadow. Yep. One right here on the ground. And here. Hello, friend. He wasn't up to an interview. <laughs> no, he's like, no questions. Please. No questions. <laughs> I like the little birdhouses that they have set up here. Yeah. They're cute. They are all so cute. So adorable. that was about cardinals, and this is about bluebirds. Oh, neat food. 
We just passed by Farmer's Feast. That is the location uh, where you can kind of get three different menus during mm -hmm. the entire festival, which is nice. And we finally have festival passports in our possession. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel like all is right with the world now. <laughs> like, okay, now, now we can do this festival. Oh, how cute. What? Right towards the front of the book. Yeah. All the topiaries are listed in case you didn't know that. Yeah. They got all of them listed that you can find throughout the park. I love that. I love that. And I love that everything is marked that's new, is marked yes. as being new. Because I absolutely want to see those new topiaries this year. Yes. Yay. Right. Now we're going to look at a festival passport. And I'm going to figure things out. Friends, this line. We want to get, we want to go to Brunch Cot and get the avocado toast, but this line <laughs> extends towards test track yeah i've never seen it like this this is pretty long crazy town i mean the avocado toast it is good it is a cute thing. it is it's a staple like for this festival ever since they brought the brunch cot yeah booth. but yeah. this is very long line aye, aye, aye. all right here we are on our nice little bench <laughs> under our nice little umbrella <laughs> under the nice little monorail track and we have got the avocado toast the avocado toast at brunch cut features heirloom tomatoes and they're cherry tomatoes also watermelon radish fresh avocado am i missing anything else and uh plant-based cheese crumbles yeah. there's also something <laughs> On your uh, piece there, my friend. It's a flower. It's a flower. The Festival of Flowers. And the fe and that's it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. That is so good. That is so good. There's a napkin if you need it. Perfect. So good and so fresh. Oh. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That is just delicious. Yeah, that is so good. Um slight saltiness very very slight watermelon radish mm. yeah all the vegetables <laughs> on here very impressive <laughs> i am making such a mess the tomatoes do go flying very easily yes but that's really good it is so good six dollars french cut is right behind us okay. used to be the donut box mm-hmm donut box where'd you go i do enjoy brunch cut to be honest and that fruit loop shake had that before and that's fun and yummy and blue <laughs> this is the smaller flower quilt it is so pretty just so gorgeous and we are here at the odyssey where it is again all things orange bird it is citrus blossom you can get some soy glazed tempura shrimp here orange sesame and lemon meringue pie i tried both of those last year last year's video is linked below in the description box and i think we're gonna head on and try new things we have pins oh my gosh that pin is so cute orange bird and here is Aren't You Glad You Met Me? And that's a raised well, texture, that orange right here. It's cool. But I love, 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 love that one. <laughs> and then we have the Magic Band 2 down here that's been out for a while. That one is cute. Super cute. In the book, it says walkway between world showcase and imagination. <gasps> Uh, we're, uh, this isn't the one that's hold on, hold just a moment please this isn't this is a new one for the festival so you have a new magic band too for the festival oh and it says florida original on there it that's looks cute. so much like the one that's been out hello floating flower pots they're so cute all right look at the smoker going over there we just noticed it and erica said oh i gotta go over there yeah, it smells good you can smell it from here it does look even the fish are loving the the flowers they get to take part in the festival of flowers here it's part of the circle yeah. of life yeah they're happy oh my goodness coco so there's miguel so cute i love all the marigolds which perfectly ties in with the movie 
All right, we are getting in line here at Trowel and Trellis. Erica, what are you interested in? Um, it is this, this is meatball situation. Oh, Please excellent. Hold. Where is it? I put you on the spot. So I sorry. marked my little page. So we're coming. Here it is. It is called the Impossible Farmhouse Meatball. It's with uh, it comes with this lentil bread, spinach, marinated vegetables, and a creamy herb aioli. Ooh. And guess what? Part of the garden grace. Hey, hey, Another one. Stamp. Hi there. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Parkering glasses. Everybody's got cool glasses on today. Oh yeah, those are nice too. Awesome. Thank you Thank so much. You. I love your glasses. Oh my gosh, they're great. Okay. Napkins, 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 forks, knives, all the things. Look how cute. Erica, that is the cutest thing. I know. It's very different from what I figured it would look like. Yeah, apparently it's changed in appearance because this was around in 2019 yeah. and apparently has gone missing since from what I've read. And uh, now it's come back with a different appearance. Yeah. But... I'm excited. They found it and they wrapped it in yeah. a blanket. Yeah, they said you're not going anywhere nope. this time. You're our safe little maple. We are here and we are ready to partake in the Impossible Farmhouse Meatball, which once was lost but now is found. <laughs> and we are so glad it is here and uh, $6 over yes. at Trowel and Trellis, which you'll find kind of in front of Odyssey near Disney Traders. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Are we just, how, how are we doing I, this? I think I'm going to scoop it. Yeah, scoop it to get a nice, like, clean. Are we somehow still attached? I tell oh, you here. what. So it's got spinach, roasted red peppers. It's got an herbed aioli, and then it's an impossible meatball. But it's wrapped in lentil bread. Nice cross section there. Yeah, there it is. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That is so good. The flavors, oh, they pull through so well. The lentil bread. Yes. Is, it's almost something that you would think to find over at Tangerine. Yes. In Morocco. Um, you made the comment that the spinach looked fresh. Mm-hmm. It is, it, I like the, the addition of this, the spinach. I like, I mean, speak to the, can you speak to the texture of the Impossible Meatball? Because you are someone who partakes so, in this. I think this is very, like, this is a good one. Okay. The texture is not weird. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like always comparing non-meat food to meat, but it's it's got a close enough texture to some type of variation of a meatball. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not too chewy. It's not too mushy or yeah. anything like that. I think they... It's the Impossible brand. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, sometimes I do have some issues with Impossible, but um, it's mainly like with their burgers. But this meatball, pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It doesn't scream to me mm -hmm. meatless mm -mm. as someone who eats meat and has no problem eating a real meatball. Yeah. This is this and is a very meatball. Flavor. It's very yeah. flavor. Very flavorful. It is very flavorful. <laughs> it is very flavorful. It is, um, it, there's the onion. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. Good choice. I like this. Fun to try. Yeah. This is so good. Lentil bread. Who knew? Mm hmm. So big. Yummy, 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 yummy. Now it's time to find a table. Uh, people are getting up from a picnic table right behind Dante. Uh, uh, Someone move might it. steal it before we get there. But. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yay! Yay! As you guys saw, I did get a drink here at Jardín de Fiestas, which is a, a party in a garden. And I got the floral margarita, and it comes with cherry liqueur, mezcal, hibiscus tea with a lime juice, and a sweet chili salt rim. There's no salt rim on here. <laughs> I didn't think but, there was. Um, that would have been so good with this, but people were ordering them like no tomorrow. So I'm going to give them a little grace on that one. But like I said, I like this. 
I love that it comes in this like cute cup that it's you can take home. Um, but it's really giving me that like the cherries pulling through. And after taking a few more sips, it really has like that that deeper undertone that you get drinking a sangria. And it's really good. I really like it. I don't drink often these days, um, but for a cute cup. <laughs> but when I do. But when I do, it's for a it's cute cup. It's out of a cute cup. <laughs> yes. And I'm telling you, I was I was saying to you that I normally don't get the drinks from this booth because pre-made drinks, sometimes I'm like, oh, it's like not going to be good or it's going to be too sweet or it's going to be too strong. And in my older days of 27, I've become a lightweight. And so I just, I don't like testing my limits, but this actually, I think was prepared like very recently. It's all balanced really well. The ice is not watered down yet, still full ice cubes. So this is good. I'm a happy person with this. Also from Hardin de Fiestas. Yes, that was the second time that was <laughs> I good. attempted to say the name. You won't see the first time. <laughs> also from that booth, which if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know I love that booth during a festival. Typically, they hit it out of the park. Although, I have to say, a couple of times recently, they've lost their minds. They've lost it. They've gotten a little too expensive. The portion sizes have shrunk. Like, that's the wrong direction to be going front. It just is. So I got the Soque di Chio Rio for $8.50 <laughs> and it is small and Erica said this initially at, at first like oh that is kind of small and it is mm -hmm. it's a guajillo pepper braised pork on fried corn shells with black beans shredded cabbage crema mexicana queso fresco which I'm a huge fan of and chives and let's pick this up it's kind of soft um so it's fried but it's it's kind of on the softer side it is thick and it is you know and it's warm so cheers it is delicious the bird above me thinks so too <laughs> he's got something to say and he's gonna say it um speak friend so see how thick that corn shell is that is Delish. Mm hmm. Pepper braised pork. It's got a little, there's a little heat on the front of the tongue. Not a ton. I love the addition of the, um, of the shredded cabbage. And queso fresco. If you have never had queso fresco, please have it. It's mild, it's salty, it's delicious. I'm going to eat this whole entire thing. $8.50 though. We've been spending like six. Mm -hmm. We've been spending, I'm going to, Swing the, this wide the here. The vessel, yes. In my opinion, the vessel for eight dollars should be a little bigger. Yeah, I bigger agree with you. Or deeper. I because agree. Because for that, <laughs> you would get more black beans. Yeah, you're right. I agree. Because I, a few festivals ago, I think it's really hard to tell if it was pre-pandemic, mm -hmm. during pandemic mm -hmm. situation, but there was something like this, and the base was just a little bit wider. Yeah. They had a giant tostada there for food and wine festival and they brought it back this past year. It was before pandemic, $8.50, which was great. A value, I might argue. It came back at like 11, 12, 13. So like something really egregious. So much so that I passed it by mm -hmm. and was not, I didn't, I wanted to get it, but I didn't want to spend that. Yeah, you're like, sorry for it, not mm -hmm. today. Nope. I will finish this and we will be off. All right, there's Anna and Elsa. They are here in their glory in the Norway Pavilion. Always beautiful, Erica. Yes. I don't know about you. They're so pretty. I love them. They are. No matter where they put them in the pavilion, they always look good. You're right. They've been, they've been in different spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've been, they've been where the stage is for the storyteller for Festival of the Holidays. Oh, right, right, right. They've been next to Akersush. That's how you say that? Ocker. There you go. Ocker, Ocker shoes. shoes. And then now they have you the help outside me. here. I'll help you. Yes, thank you so much. Ocker so, shoes. But everywhere they go, they look nice. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. They look Bonsai. Beautiful. Bonsai here. Really pretty. If it was, if I was in charge of one, it would be the stick one on the end there. It would look like that all the time. We are motoring through China. Um, nothing just screened out to us at, at the China booth at Lotus Blossom. Although if you do stop, 
at Lotus Blossom, I do recommend the cheesy crab wontons. They are really good. And there's I usually a get- There's a Disney duck! You know, he, he didn't have his answers ready to no, go. No, the Disney duck did not <laughs> want to stop. No, not today. So yeah, so moving past Lotus Blossom, get the crabby cheese wontons if you want them, or the cheesy crab wontons, not the yes. crabby cheese. <laughs> <laughs> The Krabby Cheese Wonton. That's going to be the name of our future show. <laughs> the Krabby Cheese The Krabby wonton. Cheese. Indeed. <laughs> and we are rounding uh, the back corner of Epcot here at Refreshment Outpost. Dear friends of mine, Kate and Marcia and Conrad and Asher got this past weekend the um, mango dole whip with sweet chili sauce and tahine situation that's going on fruit parfait mm -hmm. and they said it was literally the worst thing they've ever had at a festival so <laughs> we're gonna motor on past. Mm -hmm. it doesn't gonna, sound appetizing we're gonna skip that one this we'll, time. we'll skip it it sounds a little too i don't know sketchy yeah and i trust it sounds my like friends. a little too much <laughs> It also sounds it like a trip to the hospital for me. So. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good. We have a festival merchandise booth here. This is the spike themed stuff, I think. Is it the spike thing? It's different. The, oh, no. It's all like. Oh, it's cocoa. Cocoa themed merch. Oh, that's cute. Las Flores Hermosas. Oh. That's pretty. This is like a little thing you would put around a plant. Let me tell you, I love that they have it in Spanish and in English so that you can Aww. see what the translation is. Yeah, so both everybody knows. This is so cool. I love wow. the plates. Oh, absolutely. And they're melanine, so, or melamine, melamine. So, can't break them. Oh, and they're kind of sparkly. That's cute. Cool. You know what I? You know what I miss? What? This area right here is where the artists for Festival of the Arts had the Taylor oh, Swift stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Taylor was here. Yep. She will be missed. She will be. Just want to show you the back straps of this lounge fly. Oh, we didn't that get to see that in there. Is so cute. That is orange cute. printed, like they put as much orange bird stuff as they could on yeah. there. So they cute. said, "Here is the orange bird, and you will like it. <laughs> you will like it. You will it. appreciate him, exactly. and you will like the design. Exactly. As many orangey things as we can fit on that bag." Barn Market here at uh, the Germany Pavilion has uh, the same three things that it typically has. It has the uh, pretzel bread, it has the uh, the uh, fruit strudel, or strudel, which is really, really yummy. And then, what is the The potato thing? pancake. Oh, that's right. With applesauce. And then the potato pancake with applesauce that Erica just pointed out. That's right. And it's the same as the latkes, yep. you were saying? I saw a picture of it, and the potato pancake looks exactly like the latkes from Festival of the Holidays. They just drizzle on some uh, applesauce. Okay. That's that's about it. Well, that's the only thing that's different. We so if can... you like applesauce, <laughs> Go ahead Please. and get it, but I'm not the biggest applesauce fan. No, so we'll keep on rolling and looking oh, for gotta take a gardens. Sniff. Say it again. You got to take a sniff. Oh, yeah. Oh, take a sniff. Caramel cooker. <laughs> smells so good. Oh, it does smell so good. You know what I found out? What? I know I can't have the popcorn here. Yeah. But you know the maple popcorn over yes, by Canada? In Canada. It's plant based. It's vegan. So what? I can have that one. Oh my gosh. Yep. I love that so much. We're here in the Germany Pavilion, and this is where you can see the miniature gardens. Please absolutely take a peek over here. They are so cute. These are the teeniest and cutest little gardens. Succulents back here now. Yeah. Succulents? No. Those are, um... What are those? Those aren't. Because those are uh, coleus. That's a miniature coleus right there. Both of those variegated coleus. So that kind of... Oh, I wish I... 
I wish I knew what that was. I, I feel like I knew. About plants. I used to know more about plants than I do at present because I worked in a couple of plant nurseries okay. in college, which was a lot of fun. But these are just super, super cute. And if you don't stop and really look around, <laughs> as Farrah says, you're going to miss it. So mm -hmm. definitely do that. All right. Onward and upward. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They're gnomes. They're new and they're gnomes. Oh, my gosh. They're adorable. I know. They have mushrooms growing out of their hats. We found Snow White here across from the gnomes in the Germany Pavilion. It is Snow White here and Dopey. So sweet, so sweet. And then we're gonna go over here and there's all of our friends all lined up in a row. So here's Spike the Bee. Spike the Bee is a Disney character from uh, Silly Symphony's cartoon, who was a bit of pain in the butt um, in the cartoon. But here in Epcot, he's an endearing friend, and he has a scavenger hunt. Um, and then this is Basil, so you'll see these randomly throughout the park. Spike's pollination exploration. So Basil here in the Italy Pavilion. Hi, Spike. Hi, Spike. We adore these terracotta pots every single year in the Italy Pavilion. I mean, my gosh, they're just so lush and plentiful. A lot of annuals, some perennials. There's Dusty Miller there in the middle of that pot, but mostly perennials. We do have daisies. That's a perennial. A bunch of they match my nails. Oh, oh my, my gosh, yes, let's see those nails. What? Oh my gosh, it's per perfection. Such style and grace. I love it. Love it. Sergio is performing over in the pavilion. Look at this, Erica. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just that walkway going that. up the stairs. The railing. Gorgeous. I'm telling you, if I had stairs outside my house, that's yeah. how I'd want them to look. <laughs> People would walk out in the morning and go, what? Where do these flowers come from? Where? How? So cute. The Garden Rocks concert series is something that happens here in the America Gardens Pavilion Theater. America Gardens Theater, hello, um, throughout the festival. And so definitely make sure to check online, uh, make sure that you know who is going to be where during your visit. So Jason Sheff, longtime lead singer of Chicago, is tonight. And then uh, coming up soon, Richard Marks, 80s friends of mine, Richard Marks is coming. So, and then of course they've got Luminous tonight at nine. So this is your theater. This is where you're gonna come for those concerts. They're really nice because they're only 30 minutes long and you get to see mm -hmm. some of your favorite musicians in a yeah. really intimate venue. Like for me, I love the plain white tees. Yeah. And they always come here. And it's, you know, it's cute. Nice little 30 minute concert. Yeah. Because when they were really popular, I was really young. And yes. I was not going to concerts. Mm -hmm. So now I get to like relive that part of my life with them being here. That. I always wear a plain white t shirt. Oh. I come see them too here. <laughs> As you must. <laughs> yeah. As you must. Okay, we are coming up to Magnolia Table. Magnolia Table Friends is here at the America Adventure Pavilion. And Magnolia Table has bread pudding this year. It's a banana foster bread pudding, bread pudding for banana fosters, banana foster, uh -huh. that bread pudding. <laughs> and I love bread pudding. So it simply must be tried. Let's see here on the little sign. It's $4.75. Okay. That's it. Banana foster. Bananas. The bananas are plural. I have not had anything to drink, I promise you. <laughs> but I also have not had any coffee today. <laughs> Words are just hard when coffee has not been had. Words are very difficult. In any language. <laughs> Words in any language. Okay. 
getting in line. Oh my gosh, we just rounded the corner and saw Tiana. My gosh. Oh, she's gorgeous. And we've got some vines at the bottom. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. I love her. She's beautiful. And in Tiana's display, we have another Spike the Bee spot. So here in the America Adventure Pavilion. So if you're coming and you're looking for Spike, there's a couple of Spikes for you. But man, Tiana is just gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, Erica, again. <laughs> Again with scoping out the spot. Another lucky moment. Oh, fantastic. Look at us. Look at the bananas foster. Oh dear. So this is four dollars and seventy-five cents here at Magnolia Terrace. And uh wow. There's some caramel. Foster. <laughs> um, and there's a, a cake pudding situation. There is no description in the festival passport. It just says banana foster, bananas foster bread pudding, four dollars and seventy five cents. We we hardly know her, but this is this this feel it. That's heavy. Oh, that's <laughs> dense. That is. She's hefty. She is a hefty dessert. Can I get you in there? No, I cannot. No, I can't. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, this is wonderful. Well. It's um, Erica commented on, she said, oh, wait, is that what I'm smelling? And she pulled it and she said, yep. So it smells so good. Oh, moist. The Okay, the bread pudding is nice and moist, friends, just like you want it. Because you want that custard to soak into that bread and become friends. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. I have thoughts, but I'm going to have another bite first. That's good. The sun. The sun has arrived. That's actually really nice. Um, there is nutmeg in it. We have cinnamon going on. The caramel in and of itself, that's really actually very nice. Sweet. That is sweet. And I love how the bananas are like big chunks of banana as I drop it. The um, the bread pudding is so moist. I almost want it to be a hair on less moist. So a little bit drier. Mm -hmm. Like the tiniest bit. That's the word. Thank you, drier. Mm -hmm. Again, words are hard without coffee. Um, yeah, a little bit more on the drier side. But that being said, I don't hate it. See, this is another great money conversation. Can we talk? Can we talk? <laughs> Can we for talk about just dollars? A dollars and cents. Because, I mean, I ate the the sope mm -hmm. um, de Chiorio at Hardin. Hardin. Hardin de Fiestas. And that was $8.50. And it was small. Mm -hmm. It was tiny. And thick but small, enjoyable, but small. This, I feel like for four seventy five, dollars like not quite half, but a good deal less than I just paid over there. You get like dessert for days. Yeah, you can share this. Yeah, that's definitely shareable. It is. It, she's hefty. She is hefty. It's, it's a hefty dessert. But you can see as it jiggles, it's mm -hmm. a little moist, <laughs> um, which you do want that with the bread pudding, but also you want that custard to totally bake through mm -hmm. and it not to be too, too moist. So, but anyhow, I'm happy because it is a pudding after all, made of bread with big chunks of banana. Let's go. Hi there, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. It's so cute. <laughs> it is.
Well, here we have we more bonsai again. for the festival here in the Japan Pavilion. How pretty. Just amazing. All right, following Erica, following. Unveil her. The unveiling of the steamed bun. She got a little sticky on the way over She's here. a little sticky. It's, I'm not trying to steal this from our friends, but it's definitely sticky because of the humidity that we're yeah. feeling right now. Great Hashtag. shot of the nails, though. Thank you. As thank you, you unwrap the steamed bun, I really want to get like a cross section of this. Yeah, guys, I love my nails. Um, <laughs> I have my Instagram followers vote on them. Denny voted for the purple. I ones. did. I actually did. It was between green, but the uh, and purple, and I loved the purple. Okay, so here okay. we are. Okay, that's that soy. Plant-based meat situation. Okay. Look at that. That looks good. Looks nice and fluffy. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I love that we have the dramatic drums mm -hmm. in the background. Like, what will it be? It really adds to what it. What is the verdict? This is so good. <laughs> good. Spicy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's got that soy flavor, like a soy sauce flavor, like that yeah. teriyaki flavor. It's on the sweeter side. Not spicy. Mm, so good. And I'm loving this bun. This is good. Fluffy bun. All right, Japan Pavilion Hanami and your sticky steamed bun. It was really cute. I mean, you saw it as she just took it out of a little steaming pot that was right next to her. It, like it's a to-go it is a to-go option but it was just so cute she was prepared yeah fully prepared with that steamed bun okay <laughs> <laughs> bless it it's seen better days it got a little sticky okay there it is again you can see the veggies going on inside so for a non-vegetarian this is very fun to yeah to try cheers so the veggies are chunky. The meat, meat, doesn't taste like meat, like the impossible meatball tasted yes. like meat. Mm -hmm. So completely different product, I know. Andy, my vegan youngest, has tried to educate me along the way. Mm -hmm. So different product, completely yes. meat, what is it called? A meat substitution, something yes. or other. I would not get that again. I will eat it, but I'm not going to get it again. Are you getting the teriyaki flavor? I am that getting like, the, I yeah. am getting the teriyaki flavor, but I think it's a texture thing. I think mm -hmm. with me, it's the it's the the large kind of little chunks of, of veggies the vegetables. going okay. on that isn't pleasing to me. That being said, the bao bun itself is really that's fun. The bread itself is, is fun, but this will be a skip for me next time. It should have returned, but I'm so glad that you enjoyed it, Erica. Yeah. And I'm glad I got to try it. I you think it's know. nice. Uh huh. It's a good option because for fun fact for like strict, for stricter vegetarians and vegans, the frushi is not vegan because to get that pink color for the frushi of the outside, uh -huh. they use like crushed beetles to get that coloring. Hold up, no. Yes. The carmine? Yeah. So. I didn't realize. So that already makes the frushi not friendly for yeah, vegetarians and vegans that are a little more on the strict side. Cause like there are like people who are vegetarian that won't eat like marshmallows and stuff cause of the gelatin. Yep. Yep. But so if you're on the stricter side of things, frushi is not an option for you, but at least this is an Absolutely. option for you. At this, at this, out, what is it, here, it's Outdoor Kitchens? Yeah, it's yeah. Outdoor Kitchens. They change the name every festival, and sometimes they forget. Global Marketplace, Outdoor Their kitchen, kitchen, Food Studio, and... Holiday what is it? something. It'll come to me tonight when I'm lying in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot remember what it is. But, what I'm saying, good option to have. Yeah. No, absolutely. I love that they are trying. 
Mm -hmm. You know, for the plant based it's things. It's nice to see I effort. They're trying. Yes. A for effort, everyone. <laughs> I thought. Peace out from the Japan Pavilion. All right, we have another treat that is without explanation in the festival passport is the orange blossom saffron cake here at Tangerine Cafe, Flavors of a Medina in the Morocco Pavilion. Oh, and we have like marigolds and such, planters going on. Oh, that's really cute. It is really, really cute. cute. So this is what I'm after, $5, orange blossom saffron cake. I love the gelée that they have around it. It's very cute. Like the look of it. I have, uh, again, my dear friends, Asher and Kate Conrad and Marcia tried this cake the other day and they said they thought it was the best thing one of the very best things I've ever had at a festival. Okay. So I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for recognizing it. I'm so Give happy for you. I'm teasing you. <laughs> I really, I'm really hoping it looks like the picture. Oh, me too. That's pretty with those yes. loops and everything. Listen, if there's no loops, I'm Forget throwing it. hands. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> False advertising. <laughs> no, don't do that. Be nice to the cast yes, members. You have always, to. always, always. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, friends. <laughs> if you don't me know me, well now you know. All right, dear friend Jalisa, wife of Erica, has joined us here yes. at Tangerine Cafe. Flavors of the Medina. We have very loud friends across from us who are having the best day ever, and I don't blame them. Do so that's up? no, you're fine. You should be yeah. fine. <laughs> I'm just okay. holding my mic. All right, so you got the Tremula chicken, otherwise right. known as the chicken kebabs, and it doesn't look just like chicken kebabs. So we've got chickpeas. It looks like we've got uh, golden raisins, carrots. Uh, you've got a, maybe a reta sauce, which would be a yogurt sauce that they use in Indian cooking a lot, Indian dishes. And then the little guys, are, I think those are just raisins. Can you tell the I'm very picky, so <laughs> take my judgment lightly. Feel free. So my issue with chicken is that sometimes it tastes too chickeny. Right? Yes, I understand. This one doesn't taste too chickeny. Oh. It just tastes like my caliber of chicken. So that's good. Excellent. Do you... It honestly tastes like that place my mommy stories take me to in South Florida. What was that place called? The chicken kitchen? Uh, kitchen the... chicken? No, was the, the chicken soup. What is it called? No, it's no soup. No soup. There was no soup I'll involved. figure it out and Denny will okay. add it on the bottom. Yes, and we'll figure it please. Out. But I anyway, it tastes that. like that type of chicken, which I love. Okay, and, and then I also cool. put this, whatever this is, yeah, on it's it. a little bit and of a, it salad. Like a sweetness to it ah. and a zest, so it's nice. So the sweetness would likely be from those raisins. So that's good. Good. I'm so yeah, good. I like it. I would get it again. Is it spiced at all? The chicken? No, it's not spicy at Excellent. all. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Great job, Julissa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, I'm up against the wall here in Morocco. <laughs> I guess so. Um, I have the orange blossom saffron cake. It is again with a, a snack without description in the festival passport. It is all of five dollars. It does not look as beautiful <laughs> as the picture looked. It's more of like on a pool of that gelée, which I would imagine might be raspberry, but it does have more pistachios on it than was in the picture. This, from what I understand, is a pistachio base layer. And then, of course, we've got our orange on top. Oh, my stars. Okay. That texture, right? That's like a mousse. And she did, the cashier said mousse at one point, which isn't in the description of the cake at all. But she did describe it as mousse. So she has the inside scoop. We're living on making our own descriptions today. For real. Bottoms up. Okay, it's all right. I don't want to. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I am going to kind of break it down. Don't eat the pistachios with the bite of cake. I'm not, I don't think so on that. I'm going to, I'm doing a little bit of an autopsy here. So, <laughs> trying to figure out what's what with this cake. Um, pistachio layer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mushy. Smushy. If you are, if you have a texture thing, and I really don't, although there are some textures I don't enjoy, but like I've said before, I'll eat just about anything for a review, but that's mushy. That's straight up mushy, and I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm going to try the mousse now. Slightly honey adjacent. Slightly orangey. I don't understand. I don't understand. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my friends. I know you loved it so much. And I I love you. <laughs> I love you still. But this looks like a mess. And it tastes like a mess in my mind. I hate to say it, but I do. That's okay. The mousse. It's okay. I'm not going to buy this again. Sorry. Sorry, Tangerine Cafe. I feel bad. <laughs> Time to move on. Thank you for saying hi to both of you. And if you ever see us in the parks, please, please, please say hi, because that really is the highlight of the day. It is. It, it is. is. Food, food is always good, but meeting you guys, yes. it's just, it's better. It's the best. Yeah. All right, we're coming up on La Isla Fresca. Yes. What are we getting here, Erica? Uh, I'm getting two items. The two items that are on the menu. So they have a plant-based Jamaican beef patty. Oh. So oh. excited. Okay. And then they have a Tres Leches cake that is vegan. And I've had it before. Yes. And I like it. I know that you have opposing views. I do. But I want you to try it again this year. <laughs> oh, okay. I really enjoy it. Okay, I will. I will try yes. it again. For you, Erica, Please. I will try it again. It's so good. Off we go. Here we are. Woohoo. I know you're in there. <laughs> awesome for us. Hi. Hi. You? We get one patty. Oh, wow. Thank you. Empanada, is that you? Right, doesn't she look like your empanada? Uh, she does. But it's a Jamaican beef patty. And there's the tres Thank oh, you so yes. much. Thank you. We have landed at La Isla Fresca, which is in between the Morocco and France pavilions. And we have two things that look quite sizable in front of us, Erica. Yes. We have the Impossible Jamaican Beef Patty that has a spicy papaya syrup on it. And again, this is plant-based, okay? I know some things say Impossible and they're not fully vegan dishes, but this is a fully like vegan dish right here. It's got the little plant symbol. And this was uh, oh, $6.50, yeah. not bad, pretty yeah. big. Nice, nice size, I would mm -hmm. say. Oh, here. absolutely. We also got the coconut tres leches, which I have liked in the past, and that was five dollars. It's a vanilla cake soaked with oat milk, almond milk, and coconut milk, topped off with some toasted coconut. So I think we're about to have some really fun flavors here. I hope. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. Because when you said you liked the tres leches in the past, I, I have not. Well, maybe today you'll like it. Maybe today, Erica, will be the day that the heavens <laughs> break open and all things are made right again. Yeah, you are, never know. Are, are we trying? Which one are we trying first? Let's start with savory first. Okay, savory first. I love so, that. The well, Jamaican beef patty. Yes. Okay. We'll see how or spicy meat. it actually is. Are they calling it meat? Or Jamaican it, beef patty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We can do that. But it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible to make <laughs> You know, you can know you they tell do? it's late in the day? You know that Beyond oh. the Beyond brand? Yeah, they have a, a Jamaican beef patty at Publix. Do they really? Yep. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Don't get any of this on your on your thumb brace there. I'll try not to. <laughs> You're gonna walk out with a messy, <laughs> messy brace. Look at this. It's got a good inside. Yeah. Going for us. The texture looks good. Okay. I like it. But yeah. it, does, it doesn't give me Jamaican beef patty, though. It gives me like a, a beef empanada. It's literally in an empanada. Normally, Jamaican beef patties are in a different casing. It Same thing that empanada. happened to us last time. Yeah. But this reminds me of like the empanadas in South Florida. That's what it's giving. It's giving it, empanada. It makes me miss my favorite empanada 
the chorizo and potato empanada from oh, the yes. Festival of the Arts in this one. location. That's what this is making me miss. For me, it's not for me. It's just, I'm not the target group, right? I'm not the focus group for this, for this dish. And see the separation between the filling and the dough. Mm -hmm. It's literally, the filling is in one blob that's fully been cooked all the way around. So you can kind of mm. see the crust on the impossible beef that's inside. So there's no marriage of the two at all. And it's just like, there's a wrapper and then there's impossible meat. Now, I like the spice that's happening yeah, right now. Yeah, it's, nice, it's a nice uh, subtle kick going on mm -hmm. for us here. But is it something that I'm gonna come back and get as I get? <laughs> glaze whatever it's on top what is it on top again it's a spicy papaya syrup yeah that's what i'm getting on my glasses i mean but you speak you speak to this i mean you're the i like group. it um i think it's a good alternative to have i just don't think we should be calling it a jamaican beef patty. no it should be labeled as an empanada for sure like some kind of meatless empanada i, I like the crunch that it's giving though yeah I, i'm liking the different textures but again, not a true beef patty situation at all. I yeah. do like the syrup, though. Would you get this again? I think I would because I have limited options to okay, choose from fair. in festivals. So I'd That's be like, fair. oh, I'll no, come get this. But I would, get, I would get the meatball before getting this. I just got a raindrop on I my know. arm. Mm -hmm. This is making me nervous. I know. Here comes the anxiety. And we're still back near the France Pavilion. <laughs> we have a long way to go, friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is not um, good. We're wrapping this up. Yeah, this is a sauce. skip. This is a skip for me. This is a, if you are vegan. Yeah, exactly. Come try it at least once. And, and yeah. Oh, we just realized we've not even talked about the dress lunches. The freaking dress lunches cake. <laughs> I turned everything off. Like, okay, no. <laughs> We are so professional. Jalisa is just, she's praying for us right now. I think that's what's going on right there. Do we have forks? I do have yes, forks. We have the grates on the table. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's just Lord eat this. Us. Yeah, let's just, let's just start eating uh, this. You gotta get like a good scoop too. You can't just get the topping. You gotta get everything. She hated it last time. She <laughs> I hated the thing last time. That's right. I think it's so good. <laughs> Friends, do you see this? This is not a true leche. It's falling apart. It's too mushy. It's the leche. It's too mushy. <laughs> I like it. I'm so glad you do. I could do without the toasted coconut on top, but I understand they want to add a crunchy texture, but... I like the toasted coconut. It's the mushy texture. Like, that's not even, I don't even feel like you can call it a tres leches cake. Maybe you call it a tres leches pudding. Yeah. But it definitely has that, like, pudding consistency more than a cake. Uh, it's La Fresca. We have enjoyed you in the past. <laughs> and I'm glad that Erica is enjoying you yes. now. Um, my, Go ahead. Me off. my petition kind of is um, La Chaim all year round. Mm. And then they'll bring in your, your little empanada. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> for, for Festival of the Arts, like there'll be a little side table for your mm -hmm. for your <laughs> empanadas. Yeah, <laughs> it's a vanilla cake. Thank you. But it's very it, mushy. Okay, so it no, is. Okay. So, so this part of this, this half of the cake is cakey. This half is straight up mushy. Do you see the part that I was eating yes. out of? Yeah, I Do you see, see it now? <laughs> <laughs> I see it. No. I'm going to go to that side now. No. The blooming trees. They're so pretty. Who is over yonder along with rabbits? Piglet, Eeyore, and Tigger. New friendship boat. Erica was just informing me on the new friendship boat and its lovely new paint job. So nice to see it in the water. That is really cool. Fun. Friendship eight. <laughs> and there's Pierre and Captain. 
right, time to go catch up with Erica and Julie. There's our Canadian geese taking flight here at the festival. So this is right in the Canada, obviously, Canada Pavilion. But how pretty, and there's succulents, Erica. Oh, yeah. Erica, we are in Hi. line here at Refreshment Port. Why? Yeah, we are going to get the plant-based buffalo chicken tender poutine. It's made with crispy potato barrels, so I'm okay. very excited. Um, and plant-based blue cheese, so it's going to okay. be a good time. Okay. Hi. We have been to Refreshment Port. Do you feel refreshed, Erica? <laughs> so refreshed. <laughs> good. Good, I'm glad. Just throw the water back. I will. <laughs> I will get it out of the shot. Friends, we're all going downhill here. It's um, uh, we're coming in hot. All right, what what did we get at so refreshment port? We got the plant-based buffalo chicken tender poutine, and that is ten dollars. They come on crispy potato barrels with ranch and plant-based blue cheese crumbles. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't get my stamp. I have to go back for the love. <laughs> Show them a picture. Of the I event. will. I will. Okay. Um, but it's on, it's on the it's on, Garden Grace? Yes, it is. Okay. And it's got the little plant-based symbol. So Yay. here we are. We're next to Canada. Yes. We've got some great music playing. We do. Um, we do. This looks so good. So fun. Okay. So we've got some pretend blue cheese on it. Yes, we All right. Do. You go first. I'm just going to try yeah, to get they're some kind of the of blue chunk. cheese. And a tater. That's how you eat it. Blue cheese, chicken, and a tater. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a chicken, right? Okay. Yes. And that's a tater. Mm. All right, here I go. All right. Right? I love I love a crispy tater top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever plant-based ranch they're using, it's good. I like it. And the blue cheese is blue cheesing. It is actually. Mm -hmm. Um, that's actually really good blue cheese. Yeah. Part time blue cheese. <laughs> I am not a buffalo chicken fan. My husband Brian could eat buffalo chicken all the live long day. As you can see me, it's hitting the back of my throat and my <laughs> eye is just like, oh, we're closing. Um, it is not my favorite. That was really good. The chicken mm -hmm. isn't a funky texture. No. Um, it's fine. And you're right. I like the tater tots. Those are, you know, they're um, good. How rudimentary are our potato barrels slash tater tots, but also how good are they? They are so good. So yeah, that's 10 bucks. So that's more of an expensive thing. It's also heartier. Mm -hmm. That is completely shareable or it's a meal. Yeah. Shareable or a meal. A hundred percent. Yeah. I love this. I love, I love buffalo. Like I love buffalo chicken. Yeah. I can have it all day. I make a vegan buffalo chicken dip at home. It's so oh. good. Okay. Um, I just... I live for it. So like okay. this is right up my alley. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> That's it. Whereas I would just keep on going. Keep on going. We're not stopping here. <laughs> I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. And I'm, I'm really glad for you, my friend, that you have more food to eat at mm -hmm. this festival. This is fun. I mean, we have fun Yeah. before, but I know this is more fun for you yes, to have more food. Last time I got like what three things? Yeah, yeah, maybe Done. three, three and a half. Three and a half. Today we're eating. Mm -hmm. This festival said I we are here to support Erica. Exactly. So, I love it. Beautiful flower quilt and Goofy is here as well. Good grief! Just gorgeous. Our next food item comes from Hardeen de Fiestas. Thank you. And um, we are back here again because Teresa needed to get the flan. I did. And so she got the flan. It is the flan de guayaba. It's vanilla flan with guava coulis, whipped cream, and fresh fruit. And by fresh fruit, they mean a raspberry <laughs> and a blackberry. <laughs> one and one. That's all you can all handle. All in moderation. That's it. That's all. Uh, $4.75, is that correct? No, ma'am. No, what was it? Maybe oh. that was a couple years ago, but no, ma'am. <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> it was $4.75. Oh, <laughs> what was it? $6.50, Erica? $6 okay. Thank you. Erica, off camera. <laughs> she knows the facts. All, All right, right, you ready? You ready? Okay. Which, where, where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to just take the corner off right here. 
Oh. <laughs> nah. I like whatever's on top. It's Just good. Guava. I like it. Cooly. It has more flavor to it. Not the best flan I've ever had in my life, obviously, but it is pretty good. Yeah, the flan really is like a blank canvas for that guava coolie. And if I remember correctly, kind of the same thing has happened when they have had flan here at this booth before. And I mean, like at the Mexico booth, I think it was um, Festival of the Arts last year, had a flan when I reviewed it with James from Hot Dogs at Disney. And it really was all about that sauce. So. The guava coulis really hits the roof. It hit the roof of my mouth. Like the, like, How about whoa, now? Is it hitting the zing. Roof of your mouth? Yeah, no, it's great. But it's, it's not hitting It's just very bright and um, springy. And I, yeah, I don't know. The flan is just like, okay, I'm here. I think personally, food tastes better with the company that you have. So even though this isn't the best flan in the world, it, it we're, is. we're together. Mm. Here, okay, so that's really all that matters. I and you're being recorded that. on the side. <laughs> so. I love that. We're just gonna, we'll end it. Hi there, hi there. We'll just end it right there then. It can't get better than that. Food is better depending on the company that you keep. Yes, cheers. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers, cheers to you, Julissa. Pit stop. <laughs> They are so cute. All right, Erica, we are on our way to get what will be our last festival treat, which yep. is probably good because I think we have lost the will to keep going. <laughs> I know. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. We've done so much. We've made it through the we day. Have. We have. We're here. We have. It's been a beautiful day. Yes. It really has. It's been pretty nice. So we're headed to Florida Fresh, which can be found on the Rose Walk between World Showcase and the Imagination Pavilion. We're going to move quickly here through this. I'm so sorry that the audio isn't great right now. It's because I'm low on battery. So we had to take it out. What do we have here, Erica? We have the Florida Strawberry Shortcake from the Florida Florida Fresh Cake. Yeah, that's, what yeah, that's it. And uh, look, it's sure got, it is. It's got some pound cake. We've got some kind of coconut whipped cream there, and then a strawberry. Okay. And um, I really wish these strawberries had edible glitter, like yes. the strawberries once did at the deconstructing booth. But it's okay. That sounds this, so intriguing. Everything fine. should have edible glitter. Yes. And thank you for hanging in with me here on our third attempt at reviewing this dish. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Oh my. Yeah. It's a simple dish, but it's so good. I know, friend. She's going to, she's just going to scream right here on the other side. Oh, she's kicking her feet too. Doesn't get, it's, okay. it's not gonna get better. What's the, we're gonna start kicking our own feet here soon. Yeah, this is really, really tasty. Those strawberries are so good. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the vegan pound cake does have a different texture mm -hmm. because normal pound cake does have like a ton of butter in it. Yeah. So it it is more of like um. Let me show it to you real quick. Just kind of. You can see by the texture, it's just a little different. But really, for me, it doesn't, it's not like, oh, gosh, no. you know, it's good. I'm it's liking good. it. I'm happy with this. Yeah, this, this is, this is a good one. could this be one of the best things we've had today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's delicious. We're off to wrap it up, friends. We'll meet you over with some coffee. By Groot the Topiary. Yes, by God. All right, I will.
Yeah, I mean, we're, we're right across from Connections. The angels are singing. <laughs> we're here at the Joffrey's booth. We've waited all day. Erica, I'm not sure that we planned well. <laughs> This is what we have wanted all day, the iced honey jasmine latte, a floral fusion of espresso, honey jasmine syrup, milk, whipped cream, and graham cracker crumbles. Oh, my stars. Thank you, Erica. Taylor Swift is here with us. And there's Guardians. Thank you so much. Oh, all is good. Very nice. Very different with that jasmine. But very nice. Hold on. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. We are sharing a mic now because my mic is dead and I didn't even plug it in so thank you for sharing yeah. right now appreciate that <laughs> and we have caffeine so all is right with the world we got a shaky table mm -hmm. so I'll try to stabilize it a little bit um let's just wrap up Erica mm -hmm. um, we've been here literally all day long yes. we got here at 11 it is now uh 5 30 yeah. <laughs> yeah we've been here a very long time oh my gosh we have and it's been so much fun it has it's, it's so been good, good. It's so, so good. Um, hits and misses. The, uh, for me, the hits are all the new topiaries. Like, I don't feel like we have had a year where we've gotten so many new topiaries mm -hmm. like we have this year. It's um, that Groot topiary that we just got to see. It's perfect. It is literal perfection. That's what we... Guardians of the Galaxy fans yeah. need over there. Like, yes, it's Flower and Garden Festival, but it's Flower and Garden the Guardians way. Yeah. So that makes me so happy. I loved that. What about you? I thought that was cute. I love the topiaries. I, they were always one of my favorite things to look at. Mm -hmm. um, so it is, that is one of my hits, but I think it's still my hit this year is still the same as last year and yeah. it was seeing tiana her topiary mm -hmm. in the american adventure area i just think it was it's so beautifully done and it's it's not Absolutely. like it's not hidden it's not small like you turn the corner and she's there it's beautiful it's just gorgeous it's glorious like it's, she is there and and power is what i want to yeah. say like she the way that they have her pose yes. and so prominently displayed, like you and I turned the corner and it was, it was breathtaking just seeing yeah. her there. Um, it was cool getting to stand there as other guests were admiring it yes. as well and to hear their reaction yeah. and their connection mm -hmm. with the representation. Um, yeah. I loved it. We didn't stop. Uh, too long, but the family Madrigal is at the front mm -hmm. of World Showcase, um, and last year they were also one of my highlights because I think it's so beautifully done. But the new topiaries, yeah, they're all so mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, I can't even imagine like how hard these people work on mm -hmm. making them look so beautiful. So it it blows me away every year, and yeah. I I think it was about time we got new ones. Yeah. Those random gnomes in the Germany. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I love them. I don't know what what you know possessed us to to do that. Imagineers, but I love that they did this. Yeah. Like I, it was so surprising because I haven't. Um, like I had no idea they were going to mm -hmm. be there. Um, <laughs> so when we came upon them with their big noses and they're just the cutest they're things. So so cute. Asha and Star and Valentino from Wish all mm -hmm. being the, in the main focal flower bed. Chef's kiss. I always think food is food is a huge part of these festivals. Mm -hmm. So I do have to say some of the food today was definitely a hit. Yeah. And really, you know, food can turn your day around. 
for yes. better or for worse, you know? And so when you get some really good dishes that you're thinking about till the end of the day, you know it's been a good one. Yeah, so what, what was your top, what was your hit? So that, that was the Impossible Farmhouse Meatball, yeah. by far, by far, the favorite thing I had today. It was so good. And that flavor palette stuck with me literally all day. Yes. Like I just kept thinking about it. Um, it had a depth to it. And I feel like it had a just a creative creativity. I can't even speak. <laughs> a creativity. Creativity. I'm gonna stop talking now. But it just showed such thought and care. Yeah. You know? I, I loved it. That was definitely one for me and that Florida strawberry shortcake we had here at the end was really, really great. Like that was truly a hit. I would say for me, like the miss on food, the one that didn't stand out amongst everyone else was the steamed bao bun. It was something more simple. It didn't mm -hmm. stick out like the rest. Um, and my my one thing that I'm going to put on my improvement list, I have an improvement oh, list. Oh, okay. That's going to be the Impossible Jamaican Beef Patty. I think they can do more with it and make it Ooh. better. Yes. Um because it was just it was that. just an empanada, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. that's on my improved list. But really, I I can't stop thinking about the meatball and that that uh, strawberry shortcake was really good. Mm -hmm. Really, really surprised mm -hmm. me there. Yeah, for me, uh, the miss or the improvement list. I like that you. <laughs> I like that you. That's a nice way of looking mm -hmm. at it. Is um, was the orange blossom saffron cake from Tangerine cafe it unfortunately did not hit for me there were a few things today that didn't hit for me i mean listen i knew that tres leches kick i knew i knew that was gonna go the way it was did i have hope in my heart that it would go better than it did last time yes of course but no <laughs> it did not so i can't i can't really like i can't i'll chalk that up um but the orange saffron cake uh, it had a mousse inside. It was not as flavored as I wanted it. Um, orange blossom is different than orange. Like you might roll in thinking, oh, orange blossom is going to taste like orange. It doesn't necessarily. Mm -hmm. It can have a whiff of orange, but mostly it's like honey. So yes, there is that honey flavor going on, or at least honey adjacent flavor. But for me, it was a, it was a texture thing. The pistachios did not taste good with the rest of the dish. Don't put them on the plate. Don't eat them. Um, and that uh, that pistachio cake at the bottom yeah. just didn't taste good at all. Um, but like I said, I have dear friends for whom this was their favorite. So really, this is all subjective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just really, really is. Um, I would agree with you about the impossible meatball being something that stood out that was actually so good and the lentil bread for me was the most um surprising to mm -hmm. me yes that meatball was really really good but it was the lentil bread that that really brought home all those mediterranean flavors um warm uh flavor profile so i really liked it but it was just so much fun getting to pal around with you so yeah we can eat whatever part. that doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't even matter it doesn't um we were talking before we started filming about how you brought up about how Epcot just never looks more beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we are now seated in what has, there was a construction wall right behind us just, you know, a month ago. And so two months ago. So thankfully that's down now. And we're in a new part of the park or a reimagined part of the park um, that looks really beautiful during Flower and Garden, getting to see it here now. So... I I mentioned when we were talking, like, shouldn't it, like, couldn't Always. it look this way all the time? Like, if we are paying this much money to get into the parks, either as annual pass holders or as day guests, shouldn't it always look its best? Yeah, I agree with you. I, I know that means that it costs more money. You've got to pay more horticulture cast members. Um, but I feel like... And, and I know Florida growing seasons, you just, some of this stuff you can't keep mm -hmm. perpetually looking good. It gets leggy. You've got to, you know, burn a lot of money to replace plants. I get that. 
But if we're paying such a high premium to get in the parks, mm -hmm. maybe it should look its best all the time. That's just my two cents worth stand, you know, sitting here now. <laughs> um, having seen all these beautiful topiaries of our favorite Disney characters come to life. Yeah. Like, that's a fun connection. And, and that might be what sparks the interest of a kid who's visiting who goes, hey, I'd like to learn how to grow things. Mm -hmm. Like, because I saw it in the Disney parks. I want to do that now. So, yeah, I don't know. I agree with you because I, I get really sad once the quilt goes away, when they get rid of that whole yes. like, floral quilt. I wish that stayed all year round. Yes. And, like, they changed it up. I know, that, I know like, flowers go out of season, like you said, a lot of stuff. But if they changed it up for each season... Mm -hmm. Like a pumpkin patch or like, you know, oh, a the fall. Patch. I don't know. But oh, it just, come on. I love that. Yeah, now and I, I want wish, a pumpkin patch. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it's something that would stay like all year round because it yeah. is beautiful. It is. It's so lovely. And so, Erica, anything else that you want to mention about our festival day? So, I just really want to go back towards the beginning of our day and talk about those passports, those festival mm -hmm. passports. If you don't see them when you walk in, ask a cast member where you can find one. Okay. Um, because I think not having them right when we walked in kind of threw us for a loop for a moment. It really did. It was a bit of a moment yeah. to be had. Even though like we know where everything is in the park and stuff, yeah. but it, it it is something to help plan out your day a little bit better. And I think, you know, it holds so many answers mm -hmm. to so many questions. So I definitely would say, like, just make sure you have that festival passport on you while you're here if you're going to prioritize the festival yeah. because it'll help you navigate your day um, in a more efficient way. Mm -hmm. that, that's my thing. And this is a festival, like Festival of the Arts, we strolled and we looked at art, but I think this is a festival where you quite literally need to stop and smell the roses, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. take it in, like... Take a moment and look at the topiary. Take a moment and look at those uh, international gardens. Like, they make these things so that we can stop for just a moment and enjoy them. And it takes us out of that hustle and bustle of always moving. Mm -hmm. So when you're here, make sure you take some time to just stop look and those, admire. Yeah, look yeah. at those gardens. Look at those topiaries. And yeah, you're right. And admire the park that's mm -hmm. never going to look more beautiful yeah. than it does when you're there during Flower and Garden Festival. So that was our festival day. We had so much fun. Thank you so much for joining yeah, you're me welcome. in this day. It was so fantastic. I love doing this with you. Oh my gosh, likewise. How can everyone follow along with you in your adventures? So you can find me over on YouTube and all my social media at Healthy Dose of Disney. YouTube, I post every Friday, not this week because I had an uploading issue, but it's okay. It's okay. Every Friday, a video goes up and it's just like, it's my life on my off days. So like there'll be clips of this in there and you know, sometimes we go get our nails done together. We go to the gym, like all this stuff that I do in my day to day life, but you can catch that on my YouTube channel. Um, and for like more strictly disney content is my instagram healthy dose of disney where i just post pictures of what i do here in the parks and have a good time Yay. i yeah. love that i love that you'll find all of the links to erica's channels and social down in the description box so be sure to head over there follow her like her stuff you're gonna have a lot of fun with the joy that she brings to social and to YouTube. So, yay! So you're make so sure nice. to check that out. No, <laughs> you're so nice, friend. So we, we want to know from you, is Flower and Garden Festival on your must-do Disney list? Like, have you been here and you can't wait to come back? Have you never been during the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival and you can't wait to have your first trip? Are you visiting for the first time this year? Please let us know down in the comments. We would love to have a conversation with you about this. I can't wait, can't wait to hear from you on this. And if Flower Garden, AKA Festival of Flowers, is not your jam, <laughs> which festival is? Which one can you just not wait to get to? Because believe you me, we love the festivals here in Epcot and we can find something great about all of them. So, we are we stand with you whichever ones you yes. like let us know down in the comments 
thank you so much for watching today. We appreciate you more than we can say. Um, huge shout out to the whole nine yards Patreon team. Listen, the whole nine yards, um, they give $5 a month to be able to have exclusive uh, live streams, at least two a month and ramblings from me and lots of, you know, looks at the parks and and I just adore this amazing team. So if you'd like to join the team and support the channel in an increased way, check that out at www.patreon.com slash Denny underscore Sunderly. I'd love for you to be a part of the team. You can also follow me on Instagram for fun in between the videos at Denny underscore Sunderly. Thank you so, so much for watching. Much love mwah, to all of you. Much love to you, my friend. Oh, much love to you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Yay, take good care. See ya. Bye.